Hi, my name is Tony and today I'm going to show you how to make a very simple but elegant ladies bag. Just like this one. But before we start, let's watch just how easy it is to use my patterns to cut all the pieces needed for this design. Before you start your project, consider very carefully what leather you will be using. Once you've decided on the leather you're going to be using, go ahead and open your pattern files using Adobe Reader, free to use, free to download, and make sure actual size is checked. The first page of any pattern will contain a sizing diagram. This will help you make sure that the proportions are okay and you have measurements in both centimeters and inches, all right? Some of the pattern pieces are too large for one single page. So they will be spread over two, three, four, five, even six pages for the larger items. Go ahead and cut the paper along the dotted line that has the scissor symbol. Find the matching side and join them together. Make sure the scissors match and you see both halves. This is very important. Now you can go ahead and cut all the patterns out of the leather. At this stage you don't really have to cut precisely on the black line. You can leave a little bit off. After you have all the pieces cut out of the paper, you can go ahead and attach them to the leather you're going to be using. For this, I recommend you use regular masking tape you can find at any hardware store. Now it's time to punch every single stitching hole. Be patient, do not rush at this stage because it will determine how straight your stitching will be later. I use 1.5 round millimeter hole puncher. A link to this particular tool and other recommended tools I use on a daily basis in the video description. You're a chisel prong guy, uh, you don't like uh, single punches, that's fine. The pattern will work with these type of tools as well. Just make sure the spacing on your tool is at 6 millimeters. Once you finish punching all 20 holes, you can go ahead and cut the leather. Once more, take your time. Be very, very careful when you're cutting the leather because any slip, any wrong cut can ruin your whole piece. If you purchase this pattern, it will come with four different designs for the flap. And today I'm going to show you how to put this one together. The design for the other three flaps are also very easy. However, if you have any questions, go ahead and ask. Always happy to help. This one will leave the entire flap open to maybe some toolings or whatever other design you want to cram in there. It will give you the blank canvas for you to get creative. This one will have a strap that will keep the flap tucked in, okay? So the straps will go from, from the back over here. All the, all the holes will be marked on the design. And will tie like a belt at the front. And then you can just slide the flap underneath to keep it closed at all times. This design is very similar to this. The only difference is that instead of one buckle, it will have two 
pointing slightly at the lower corners of the purse. So after you've chosen the design you want to make, let's get all the leather pieces cut, stitching holes punched, let's get all the hardware that we need ready and we can start assembling the back. The design will use 25 millimeter buckles. This is because I wanted it to hide the 18 millimeter magnetic closure and uh, of course you can go ahead and use whatever buckle you have or whatever buckle you want just be aware you will need to adjust the width of the strap to your particular buckle keep the length adjust the width okay good so once again for this particular design you will be needing a 18 millimeter magnetic closure just like this one you will also need a uh, buckle 25 millimeters and uh, you're gonna need two D rings okay also make a strap for this bag any strap you want you can make it simple you can make it complicated you can just use the pattern that I will include with this design the leather pieces you will be needing uh, these two strap holders uh, you're gonna need these two for the strap and the buckle strap the back this is the back right here this is the front now the front will be different uh, depending on the design you choose just like the flap the flap will also be different uh, and the gusset will uh, will be the same for any of the four designs. Let's go ahead and start by attaching the buckle. You go ahead and insert the buckle like I do here. And there is a very short stitch we need to do first. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and finish that. Next, we are ready to insert the first half of the magnetic closure. If you choose to use a magnetic closure. This one, like I said earlier, is 18 millimeters and um, it goes in like this. Now you're ready to stitch it all up. Do this um, stitching all around the edges. But before you do, don't forget to insert the keeper as well.
Now, this is how your strap and the first half of the magnetic closure should look like. Next, we can attach this strap to the flap. But stop whatever you're doing right now. It is time to hear from Professor Tony once more. Hi. I'm Professor Tony. And today I'm going to answer a very, very popular question we've been getting lately. How can I be as cool as you, professor? That's not what they ask. What? Are you sure? No, really. Nobody, nobody asked that. Nobody? Okay, what did they ask? Which is better, hand stitching or machine stitching? Are you serious? What? Which is better, hand stitching or machine stitching? Why not use a machine to do your stitching for you? Why anything? Why frozen pizza and not a good steak? Why drive a Ferrari and not take the bus? Because automation was not made for the customer. I'm getting aggravated. Yeah, use a machine if you want to do things faster, your stitching included, but don't have the nerve to ask me which is better. All right? A well done hand stitch can never be matched by a machine stitch, ever. Is that clear enough for you? Do you still have any doubts? Good. Now get back to your stitching. Go, now, go. Which is better? Now it's time to attach the second half of the magnetic closure, all right? So go ahead and uh, place it on the, on the front of the bag, like I do here and then close it at the back. I strongly recommend covering uh, these metal pieces with a round piece of leather to avoid further inconveniences.
Now I want you to pay very close attention to the next part. Because when we start touching the gusset or the side of the bag to the back, okay, we, we're going to start with the back here. You have to remember to start stitching the, the D-ring holders as well. Those tiny little straps, they have to get into the mix now. What you have to be careful about here is that basically you're going to have to stitch through one, two, three, four different layers of leather, okay? The star can be a little bit rocky, and as you see me do now, I actually double my first stitch, and then I continue down the stitching line.
ago, but how can I forget? We were 16 up all night. Love and heartbreak was our life. We got drunk and smoked your dad's cigarettes. Dreamt of a life in a big town. Skyscrapers and neon lights. Mm -hmm, I still think of you. It is very important around the corners, you pull those threads really, really tight, okay? So we can give the stitching a nice, consistent look. Now, a lot of you are asking me, what do you do when the thread runs out? I actually have a tips and tricks video that I cover this more extensively. You basically just finish the stitching, you double back on your stitching once or twice, you trim the ends, melt them off, and then you simply start uh, where you left off, just like I'm doing here. Now, don't forget, before you end your stitching line, you have to insert the second strap, okay? That holds the D-ring. Don't forget to do this, okay? And, uh, and it goes in just like the first one did, only that now you start from the bottom. We were 16 up all night, love and heartbreak was our life. Okay, now before we go ahead and attach the front of the bag, just like we did the back, it will make your whole life easier if you attach the flap next, okay? So forget about the front for a second and do this, uh, this back piece. It's a very easy stitch that goes like a U here and of course, this will give us an, a nice little wallet inside here where we can just slide our phone or our wallet, all right? So go ahead and do that next before you start stitching the front. We already at the last stitch of this build. How amazing is that? Very easy, just like I promised. So go ahead and uh, attach the front exactly like you did the back. Away. 
drift away Hold tight, I can save you from misty black waters Pull you in the pile, you drift away Hold tight, I can save you from misty black waters Pull you in Also, don't forget, around the corners here really really pull on that thread so there are no gaps and your stitching will look at least as nice as mine Congratulations, I am so proud of you. Your bag is done, you can do the same stripe I did, there will be, you know, the plans in the pattern in the PDF file. You can use an older strap, you can make your own, really do whatever you want. You don't like magnetic closures, forget about magnetic closures. You can just attach this strap straight on the front of the bag here. And then every time you want to open or uh, close your bag, you will do it the usual way, with a buckle, because why not? Once again, thank you so much for choosing our pattern. As some of you already know, it really pays to be a subscriber of this channel. We have giveaways, we have prizes, we have uh, free patterns on a regular basis. You're not subscribed, you forgot to click that bell button, you're going to be missing out. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you on our next video, which will be a uh, top 10, my most favorite, my most beloved leather working tools. So top 10 leather working tools I use. Next video. See you there. Peace.